the Leopard 1A5 may soon be equipped with a new engine. Currently, an MTUMB 838 engine powers it, producing approximately 830 horsepower. Between 1956 and 1961, the designers considered this sufficient to move the 40 ton tank. Rolls Royce and Flensburger Fahrzeugbaugesellschaft, FFG, announced on September 4 during the RUNET Forum in Koblenz, Germany, that they plan to modernize the Leopard 1A5 and its derivative vehicles, including the BPZ2 recovery vehicle, the Gepard anti aircraft system, and the Wisent 1 engineering vehicle, by equipping them with a new engine, the MTU 84 199. ZF, a company specializing in transmission systems, will assist in this endeavor. This engine upgrade would solve the issue of spare parts supply, as the MTU MB838 is no longer in production. According to Rolls Royce Power Systems, the MTU 8V199, which already powers the Boxer Infantry Fighting Vehicle, would offer better performance, with over 1,000 horsepower. Additionally, the manufacturer noted that it is cheaper, lighter, and more efficient, with a longer lifespan and reduced maintenance periods. In short, they claim it is the perfect solution to ensure that Leopard 1 family armored vehicles can continue to operate effectively in the future. In this project, FFG will oversee the development of a powertrain adapted to the MTU 8V199, while ZF will ensure the compatibility of the 4HP250 transmission with the new engine. This concept will provide an excellent opportunity for many armies to adapt to evolving security conditions at reasonable costs and within a reasonable time frame, summarized Jörg Kamper, the CEO of FFG. Leopard 1A5 has faced troubles in Ukraine. In September 2023, the weekly magazine Der Spiegel revealed that several of these Leopard 1A5s had quickly broken down, and the Ukrainian army had recently refused about 10 of them because they still required repairs that Ukraine was unable to perform. But Ukraine is not the only country using Leopard 1A5s. Greece and Turkey possess several hundred, as does Brazil, which plans to modernize some of those it acquired secondhand to keep them in service until 2030. However, the tank modernization project has been indefinitely delayed. The main reason for this decision is a disruption in the military supply chain. The high demand for armored vehicle parts in the international market has jeopardized the Brazilian Leopard 1A5 BR modernization project, scheduled to begin on December 17, 2020. The Leopard 1A5 is the latest version of the Leopard 1 tank, which went into serial production in 1987. Before reaching the 1A5 modification, a total of 1,225 main battle tanks underwent upgrades. The tank is equipped with an updated EMS-18 fire control system, developed based on the EMS-15 system used in Leopard 2 tanks. The updated version of the tank also features a thermal imaging site. The modification of the Leopard 1A5 did not involve any significant changes apart from these. The 105mm L7A3 rifled gun, considered quite powerful at the time of its production, equips the Leopard 1A5 and can fire up to 10 rounds per minute. Additionally, the tank has an impressive ammunition capacity of 55 to 60 rounds, with a significant portion stored not in the first stage ammunition racks, but directly opposite the driver, at the front of the hull. Given the placement of the ammunition, and the tank's relatively thin armor by today's standards, even a non-critical hit could cause the ammunition to explode. Leopard 1 tank was in service with the Bundeswehr until 2010. Now, do you think Leopard 1A5 is relevant in modern warfare? Let us know in the comments. We discuss such interesting topics every day. Please like, share, and subscribe for more such stories in the future.